Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a comparison and review of the Ridge Wallet, a popular minimalist wallet, with the Rossum Wallet, known to be a comparable but budget-minded offering. Now I've seen a lot of reviews that don't go into depth about what makes these different, so let's find out if the Ridge Wallet is really worth the premium price. So right off the bat, you can appreciate the quality of the packaging that Ridge offers. It reminds me of an Apple product where everything is just thick and high quality and well thought out. It comes with a sticker and an informational insert. And taking a look at this stone washed titanium wallet, it just looks absolutely beautiful. When you see it, you just appreciate the finish and the level of detail of the presentation. It just looks great. Now, I got the Stonewashed Titanium Wallet with the cash strap, which is attached here, but you can add a money clip, which we'll take a look at later. But take a look at this. And I don't think the camera is really doing the finish of the Stonewashed Titanium Justice here. It really is absolutely beautiful. It's textured, and the Stonewash just adds a nice visual appeal, although the wallet itself still feels very smooth. It's just visual intrigue. Now, the cards slip in and out very smoothly of this wallet, and that helps you appreciate the machining of this product, especially you know when you inspect it up close like this. Here you can see the beveled edge, which is often mentioned as a difference between the Ridge and some of the less expensive knockoff wallets. This beveled edge is great because it helps the wallet slide in and out of the pocket and reduces the wear and tear inside your pocket so you don't destroy the fabric inside from rubbing against the edge. Of course, it comes with a branded plastic screwdriver, which is cool, and that's so you can change the elastic or swap the cash strap for the money clip whenever you want. Let's check out this other wallet I got from Ridge. This one is the Forged Carbon Ember Wallet. And again, this packaging just looks really nice. They want you to feel like you're getting your money's worth when you open the package. And I think they do a really nice job with that. Let's look at the layout here. This is uh, a nice presentation. So again, as you can see on this version, I also got the cash strap, but it includes some other accessories. And while the form factor is the same, take a look at that forged carbon. That is an amazing visual texture. Now it maintains the matte finish, but when the light catches those ember pieces, they glow. It looks absolutely amazing. It's very visually appealing. I just love the way that looks. Here's a quick look in the sunlight as the indoor light didn't quite capture it. Look at how the light is catching on those pieces of carbon and they just seem to shift right before your eyes as you manipulate the wallet. That is awesome. I love the look of this. So again, I'm struck by how smoothly the card glides in and out of this wallet. It's a testament to the quality. You know, you can see the high quality materials and it's just a nice product. Here, check out the elastic. And here you can see the beveled edge where you insert the cards. So the cards have a mechanical advantage as you're sliding them in. All right, let's take a look at what else you have in the package here. You have the screwdriver, you have uh, the wallet, you have the money clip, which you can replace the cash strap with. Uh, there's replacement elastic below that, and then there's replacement screws underneath that. So basically you can use this kit to refresh your wallet after a few years and make it feel brand new again. All right, let's take a look at the Rossum. Now the box is nice, it's got a good weight to it, it's not quite as nice as the Ridge, it's a step down, but it's definitely gift worthy. The presentation is very well done as well, it comes with a money clip, replacement elastic, and screws. Now I would argue that the Rossum screwdriver is actually a step up from the Ridge screwdriver. It's metal and that's appreciated. Um, I could do without the plastic packaging on the, the wallet itself in the box. Um, it kind of makes it look, look cheap, um, but, but whatever. But speaking of the look, look at the finish on this wallet. Remember what the Ridge Forged Carbon Ember looked like, and this looks almost identical. The embers pop, it's very nice looking. Look at how the light, again, just catches off those pieces of forged carbon, especially the ember pieces. 
and you can really appreciate what you're getting here for your money. That is a high value. Uh, now, the card feels a little grittier when I'm sliding it in and out, and we'll compare that uh, with the card that came with the ridge, so we're going to compare apples to apples and make sure we're doing that fairly, but that stands out to me. Okay, look at these side by side. Let's take that in. The ridge is almost $100 more, but they look almost identical. It's incredible that Rossum puts out a product at this price point. Take a look at the elastic. Uh, it's close, uh, but the ridge elastic looks wider, maybe a thicker weave. I think it's slightly better on the ridge. Again, you can kind of see the difference in the elastic there, but but they're they're close. Uh, the tension is great on the ridge. The tension is also great on the Rossum. Uh, Texture-wise, as I rub them uh, with my thumb, I couldn't pick these out in a blind test. They f they feel that close. And you know, one thing I really like is look at the beveled edge on these wallets. They both have the beveled edge. And I've heard people complain that many of the budget-minded offerings don't have that beveled edge, but this one absolutely does. The Rossum has it, and yeah, in the hand, these feel identical. That's a really, really nice job by Rossum coming out with a product at this price point. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that, but the card is, it's almost gritty coming out of the Rossum. And the ridge is perfectly smooth. Listen to that. It's it's so different. I, I You can't appreciate it without feeling it, but let me try the Ridge card in the Rossum just to make sure it's not just a difference in the card or the material. No. It is definitely the wallet itself. They're definitely different. The Rossum has more friction sliding the card in and out. <sighs> I don't know. I, I don't want to overstate it, but the Rossum has more grit and the Ridge is smoother. And that's a core functionality of the wallet and the Ridge is superior in that specific regard. Um, the other thing that caught my eyes, look at these screws. Look how the light is reflecting. It just sparkles off in a radial pattern that kind of spins as you tilt the wallet and the light hits it from different angles. Uh, but the Rossum it just they're kind of dull there's nothing to them they're just flat screws there's no visual appeal there but look at the ridge it's sparkling off it's rotating it adds another dimension of visual interest and movement to the wallet it's a subtle detail but again it's just one of the things the ridge has the edge on okay look at these replacement straps the ridge is on the left and the rossum is on the right now what I want you to appreciate is looking at the Ridge Elastic, you can see that it's thicker, it's bigger, it's nicer, it's just better done. Look at how the middle piece of the elastic on the Ridge is sewn on the inside of that outer strap. It's just a nice detail. It's like this piece was sewn onto, it's like this piece was sewn and made for the Ridge. Well, if you look at the Rossum, it's sewn on the outside, almost like it was an afterthought or repurposed. It's just not quite as nice. And I want you to appreciate some of the differences between the money clips between these two wallets. They may not be apparent while they're attached. Look at how long the pieces are that extend into the wallet on the ridge. Um, but there's just two screws on the Rossum and a slim piece of metal. And I think that makes a difference in the strength. And it could be a potential point of failure on the Rossum. You know, look at the difference in uh, how much metal it is from this angle. Uh, also, the lip where you slide money in is longer on the Rossum, that raised lip, but I think that's a negative. It's it's not hard to slide money into the ridge, and the extra height on the Rossum makes it stick out in your pocket and catch on things, and it's just not necessary. Also, the cut of the metal is different. The ridge just looks more contoured and, and modern, and it's just a bit nicer from my perspective. Not a huge difference, but it's subtle. I also wanted to show you the super cheap knockoff I got from AliExpress a few years ago. I paid $8 for this. I wanted to see if I liked the form factor before I paid for the real deal, and it gave me the rich experience, but what a piece of junk. For 8 bucks, I got what I paid for. Yeah, I mean, it did its job while I used it and you know visually it looked very similar to the offerings from Ridge at the time. Um, it has that beveled edge which functionally allows you to slide the cards in and out which is great. Um, 
However, the edge on the outside of the wallet are not beveled. Look at that. That is a hard drop off and that's not good. It chews up your pocket. You know, it really served its purpose. I think in general though, it showed me that the Ridge wallet would work for me. And so I sprung for the original, um, the Ridge wallet. And I think that um, overall it was, was a good buy. Um, last but not least, I also wanted to show you that I got the aluminum matte black uh, version of the Rossum, just to show you that you're getting the same upgrades we talked about before, such as the beveled edge, which really helps elevate the Rossum to compete with the Ridge despite the lower price point. I really like the look of this, this wallet. That matte look is fantastic. The elastic is similar to the other one as well. This is, this is nice. I do also need to mention that the grittiness I found in the other Rossum wallet, um, I also found here. So, you know, that's, uh, that's a problem. But it's very sharp looking, and that's really, really nice. And looking at them side by side, these wallets are both really, really nice. But the devil is in the details. So, in conclusion, is the Ridge a superior product? I have to say, yes, it is superior functionally and aesthetically. It has better elastic, better screws, a smoother operation, but the Rossum will get you 90% of the way there. Is it worth a hundred more dollars? Only you can decide that. For me, yes, I want the best experience and the Ridge is the best, so I'm going with the Ridge. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I hope it helps you make a decision. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Um, I'd love to hear what you think about these two wallets.